Hi guys, it's Rajiv Khan from IT Nation. Today I am going to show you how to set up Facebook Business Manager and add accounts. Before we get to that, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit now. To create a Facebook Business Manager account, all you need to do is head over to business.facebook.com and create a free account. Now I highly recommend a business manager for anyone that's getting involved in any form of marketing on Facebook. So even if you are not doing paid advertising through an ad account but you have a Facebook business page and then you are engaging in some form of content marketing through Facebook then I highly recommend you to set up a Facebook business manager. Setting up a business manager allows you to manage all your Facebook business assets in one place. This can be your business pages, your ad accounts, your Instagram accounts and other marketing tools. So what we are going to do is navigate over to create an account and for the purpose of this tutorial I created a new Facebook user so I can guide you through a completely fresh business manager account. Ok so firstly we need to do is add our business information. Here you have to add the business name and your name. We are just going to use the example name here, IT Nation Business and then down here add your business email address. So we are going to go ahead and do that now. And then once you have added your business name and business email, come down and click submit. Then here we just need to confirm our email address. So head over to your email address and find the confirmation email. Once you have found the confirmation email, just come down and click confirm now. Here we are on our fresh Facebook Business Manager account. Now if we navigate over to IT Nation Business, this is the name of the business account we just created. You can see that we have a business manager account. Now navigate up to this 9 dots business tools, come down and select business settings. And that's going to take you to this area. There are three important areas we are going to talk about today. One is people, connecting the right people to your business manager and that's why you can manage asset within your business manager and you can manage people, client or other that are part of your business manager. Then we want to come down to pages and connect pages and then connect an ad account. I am going to do is click page then come over here and click add. Now down here we can add a page. If you already own a page, you have created under your own profile but it's not part of your business manager, then you can claim the page and move it to your business manager. Or you can come down here and request access to a page. For example, you have a client that has a Facebook business page and you want to start managing it, then you can request access to that page. Or you can go ahead and create a new page. I am going to come up here and type in my business page and this is the page that I want to manage in my business manager. I am going to come down and click add page. My request has been approved automatically. However, if I was not a page admin, then I would have to wait for the admin to approve my request. Now I am going to come down and click close. Then again we want to do the same with an ad account so I am going to click add account and then come over to add and then down here we have the same option add an ad account so what we already own request access to an ad account this could be a client of ours or create an ad account so what I am going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is that you go ahead and create a new ad account and here I am going to name this ad account same as my business manager and then make sure your time zone and currency is correct then come down and click next and then up here you want to select one of the two options this ad account will be used for my business, itination business or another business or client for example if you were creating an ad account for a client then you would go ahead and click another business or client but because we are creating an ad account for this business then we are going to go ahead and click my business and click create and then here we want to navigate under people where it say Kathleen Jackson so what we want to do is click this individual 
which is the practice user account that we have created for this tutorial and navigate over here and with each of your user you can give them particular access to add account so for this add account i want to give kathleen jackson full admin access i am going to come down here and click admin access then assign and then here you can see that your add account has been successfully created so what you want to do is now make sure you add payment information if you are ready to start advertising with this ad account. So go ahead and do that. What we can do now is navigate up to people and this is where you can go ahead and add other people to help you manage your asset in your business manager. For example, at the moment we have got Kathleen Jackson. What I can do is navigate up to add. And this is where you can invite people to join your business manager. So for example, over here I can enter someone's email. So I am going to go ahead and enter an email address. And then once you have added one or more email address, come down to assign business role. Now you can choose employee access or admin access. Now it is recommended that you add people as employees because that way you can assign specific account and tools for them to operate rather than giving them complete access to your entire account. As you can see that is already selected then come down and click next then under assign asset this is where you can assign specific asset and tools to the individual that we have added to our business manager. We only have one business page and one ad account as you can see down here. So with this business page I can come over here and select the business page. Then over here I have an option to give access. Ok so I want this individual here or you can say employee to have standard access to this page. So I am just going to go ahead and turn it on. Once you are happy with this access level, then navigate over to invite and then you will have a summary of that information here. Come down and click done. Or if you want to add more people, you can do the same here. So I am going to select done. And that is a quick overview of all the essential you need to know to really get started with the business manager. Now if we navigate up to these 9 business tools and come down to billing, this is where you can add your billing information. So remember we skipped that at the beginning. What we want to do is navigate over to payment settings and na then navigate over to add payment method. You want to make sure that you have a payment method if you want to start advertising. So what I am going to do now is navigate back to business home and here under home this is basically your business manager dashboard. This is where you can see up to date information about your asset that you have connected with your business manager. That is essentially everything I wanted to cover in this beginners tutorial. Get started to create your own business manager. Now if you have any question about this tutorial. Make sure to comment here or you can ask any question on itnation.info. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end.